Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I am going to show you how I make my beaded pearl brooches. Um, I'm using many different sizes of crystals and pearls and um, rhine rhinestones. Um, so I'll tell you what sizes I do know. Um, this center pearl is an eight millimeter. No, it's a ten millimeter. This pearl is an eight. This is a six right here. Um, these are sew-on rhinestones. If you are looking to buy them, that's what you need to look for. You can find these on eBay, maybe Etsy and, and Zibit. I don't know. I found mine on eBay. Um, I use 6mm and 4mm bicones. And here is a 6mm right here. And here is a 5mm and there is a 4mm. So I use bicones because that's a good filler. and. When you're making these brooches, you want them, if if it starts to dome, you know that the beads that you're using are too small and it's just going to keep doming. Um, and if it's kind of buckling, then you know that your beads are too big. But sometimes you can get away with that. See, this one buckled a little bit, but I like how it popped up here on the edges. And because I have not found any, I haven't found any patterns or anything for something like this, um, and I've looked, so I'm just uh, trial and error. If I start to to make one and it starts to dome, then I know I need to get bigger beads. So sometimes the brooch, de the look of it depends on what size beads I have. Um, so I'm using some upholstery thread just so that it's a real nice heavy duty. And if you have uh, beads with smaller holes, you won't want to use this because this is a, a thicker thread. And I'm using a beading needle. So what I'm going to start out with is five 10 millimeter pearls. And I'm going to string them all on. And I usually start with five, um, five or six. There's a couple that I started with three. Um, here you can see that's a five, that's a five, five, five. This one is six because I used the sew on rhinestones as one, so that's six. Um, and that one's a five. Okay, so I'm going to string these on to get them all to the end and then I'm going to tie it in a knot and you want to be careful because if you tie it and if you just do one knot it's going to loosen and you want it nice and tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around twice and I'm going to pull it as tight as I can without breaking the thread. And then I'm going to do one more knot just to keep it there and that now I have my ring and I'm going to pull my thread through the next bead and then now I'm just going to I'm thinking I want to put a bicone in each one of these spaces and I think I want a four millimeter so I'm going to find some four millimeter bicones actually I'm going to use some sew on rhinestones because those look really nice in between the pearls and it adds some bling. So with these sew on rhinestones you can go across or you can go um, or through the corner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through the corner so it fits perfectly in between those two pearls. And as you can see, if I used a bicone, a bicone crystal, that would fit in there snug as well. So let me just find one and show you. Because of the shape of it, this is a six millimeter. I would have used a four. But a six millimeter bicone fits great in there too. So I'm just going to do this all the way around.
Okay, so now I've gone all the way around and what I can do is I can build on by going around here from here from this one to this one. I can build on by going just around this pearl here. It's just all up to you. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go up through this hole here and go through that corner. I hope you can see that. And now I'm going to and this is just pretty much making patterns. So now I need to figure out what I want to use to go from this bead to this bead and it fit. So what I will use is, I think I'm going to use a couple of, let's see, some 5 millimeter bicones and a pearl. And I'm thinking one of these light gray six millimeters. So I'm going to thread on the bicone, the six millimeter, and another bicone. And now I'm going to go through the top corner of this so on. And if this was a bead, you would just go right through the bead hole. And let's see how that looks. And since I'm doing it in groupings, this won't be too big or too small. And so I'm going to do that all the way around. Two bicones and the six millimeter pearl. Okay, so now what I can do, you could leave it just like this. That's a cute little brooch. Um, but now I'm going to, I can either uh, go through around these ones and make a little, um, which is what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to go through this bicone, through that pearl, and then from here to here I'm going to make another um, pattern of something so I need to figure out something that will go from this bead to this bead and be um, the perfect size so what I'm thinking is I'm definitely going to want to use an eight millimeter dark gray pearl and two sew on rhinestones and so, see sometimes it doesn't work out so we'll find out together if this is going to work out or I might not even put that in the video. <laughs> okay so I'm going to add a sew on rhinestone making sure that it is going to set the exactly how I want it. I'm going to add a pearl, an 8 millimeter pearl and then I'm going to add another sew on rhinestone and go right through the corner. I'm going to pull that all the way down and be, the reason I go through the corner is because that's going to help the rhinestone to sit right. Okay, so now I'm going to go through this gr um, gray pearl and I'm going to pull it. And it looks like it's going to work great. So I'm going to continue that pattern all the way around. Okay, and now I'm going to thread down, so I'm going to go through this one, and then I'm going to go through this one across, and 
I'm going to go through this big one. And now at this point I could add any kind of center I would like. And you can glue these on a piece of leather, um, felt, whatever with a, with a little pin. But I'm not making my brooches to where I'm making them for a bridal bouquet. So I don't need any of that on the back, but that's very easy to do. Um, let's see, what should I use for the center? Um, too big. I think we'll just go for a... Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to go up through the center with my needle. I'm going to put my needle through the pearl. And then I'm going to go across and I'm going to go through this next pearl here. And I want to go down under it. And I'm going to pull that. And see that holds my center pearl there. And now I'm going to go through the next one and I'm going to tie these two threads together the first tail from when I started I'm going to do one to make it real tight then I'm going to wrap it twice and I'm going to cut it And there we go, my finished brooch. So I hope that this tutorial helps and you are able to make your own brooches. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Um, and if you're wondering if maybe where I get my pearls, I get them all over. I've gotten them at Walmart, Michaels, Joann's. Um, Walmart, there's a big pack of pearls that has like these greens and the grays and the pinks. And I just separated them out in categories. Um, are in color and shades so um and most of the rhinestones and crystal i got on ebay uh, or yeah on ebay except these these bicones these are plastic and you can't tell when they're on something they're just still um sparkly and those are i got those at walmart as well in the craft section so um thanks for watching bye